Welcome to uh, the videos about rotational symmetry. We've done lines with symmetry, we've done planes of symmetry. Uh, so check my site explainingmaths.com to find all those resources, uh, amongst other resources. But now we're going to have a look at rotational symmetry. Now, what is rotational symmetry? It is if you turn an object, a full turn, yes, yeah, so of 360 degrees, how many times does it look the same? That is rotational symmetry. Now, what did I, do I mean with that? Let's say I have this square here, yes, yeah, so of four sides, they're all uh, equal in length. I just very quickly cut that, so it's not actually a square, but let's pretend it's a square. Let me just put um, four of these crosses here. Okay. And I'm going to turn it a full turn, and you're going to count with me how many times it looks the same as it does right now. Okay, so one, and two, and three, and back in its original position, four. Yeah, so you always count the original position. So it looks the same as its starting position four times. Then we say that the order of rotational symmetry, so the order of rotational symmetry is four. It has a rotational symmetry of order four because in one full turn it looked one, two, three, four times the same. Okay, order four. Now that means actually that everything has rotational symmetry of at least order one because this uh, triangle for instance which I used for uh, explaining uh, lines of symmetry if I rotate it one full turn, when does it look the same? When does it look the same? When does it look the same? Yeah, now back in its original position. So everything, or this triangle and everything else, has at least rotational symmetry of order one. But then sometimes we say, well, it doesn't have rotational symmetry, yeah? Because order one, everything has rotational symmetry of order one, okay? So please uh, be careful, by the way, if this would be an equilateral triangle, let me quickly, uh, let me quickly cut an equilateral triangle for you. Yeah? So all three sides are equal in length. It's an equilateral triangle. What is the order now? One, two, three. So an equilateral triangle has um, has rotational symmetry of order three. Good. Now back to my square. This one has rotational symmetry of order four. Now let's say I put a, a little a little circle there and a circle there, but not on the other sides. What is the order of rotational symmetry now? When does it look the same? No, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look the same. Okay, now it looks the same. So one, and then back in its original position. So two. So now this square has rotational symmetry of order two. Fantastic. Now in real life, as well, you have all sorts of examples. For instance, uh, this snowflake of rotational symmetry. Uh, what is the order? Well, if I would turn it a full turn, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's gonna look six times the same. Yeah, have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, back in its original position. Yeah, so it has a rotational symmetry of order six, yeah? And every time uh, when I, I assess my students on uh, rotational symmetry, when I see them turning their paper around, I know ah, they're doing the rotational symmetry now, yeah? What about this one? What do you think? What is the order of rotational symmetry? Just your gut's feeling. You have three of those legs, so it's gonna be of order three, because if you rotate a full turn, it's gonna look three times the same. What about this uh, little friend? Yeah, the order of rotational symmetry is gonna be of order five. Oh, one, a two, a three, a four, back in its original position, order five. Very good. All right, um, that was rotational symmetry. Um, we've done planes of symmetry. We've done lines of symmetry. Now I have one more video left where we're gonna have a look at regular polygons and the amount of lines of symmetry they have and their order of rotational symmetry because it's good to have an understanding of regular polygons and their symmetry properties. Okay, I'll see you at the next video. Like and share if this was useful so I can help your friends too. And uh, go to my site, explainingmaths.com for all the resources you need to understand maths a bit better. I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.